How to Behave Like a Lady, for Crossdressers and Transgender. Synopsis. In a small town, a crossdressing man captivates a group of curious boys with his ability to transform into a lady. Eager to learn, they gather around him as he imparts detailed lessons on how to behave like a woman, offering insights into common failures and the keys to passing convincingly. Inspired by their enthusiasm, he takes his knowledge to the city, embracing his role as a guide for others on their own journeys of self-expression. Through encounters with diverse individuals, he forms a supportive community, imparting wisdom and fostering a world where authenticity and acceptance reign. Story Once upon a time, in a small town nestled amidst rolling hills, there was a group of curious boys who had gathered around me, eager to learn something new. They had heard rumors about my ability to transform myself into a lady, and their curiosity had led them to seek me out. I was a crossdresser who had been through countless trials and errors, but finally found my own path to authenticity. As I stood before them, I took a deep breath and began to share my story. I explained that the journey of becoming a lady is not just about wearing feminine clothing, it goes far beyond that. It's about understanding and embracing the essence of femininity, both in appearance and behavior. I began by addressing the common mistakes and failures that many crossdressers and transgender individuals encounter when attempting to pass as a woman. One of the most significant stumbling blocks, I explained, was the tendency to overdo certain aspects of femininity. It's crucial to strike a balance, avoiding caricatures that can draw unnecessary attention. Subtlety is key. Next, I shared the importance of observing and learning from women around us. I emphasized that observation should be done with respect and admiration, without objectifying or demeaning them. By studying how women walk, talk, and carry themselves, one can start to understand the intricate details that contribute to a genuine feminine aura. I discussed the significance of body language, explaining how it can make or break the illusion of femininity. I encourage the boys to practice graceful movements and gestures, using their body language to convey a sense of elegance and poise. I highlighted the importance of posture, reminding them to stand tall with their shoulders back, projecting confidence and grace. Makeup was another topic I delved into, stressing the need for subtlety once again. Less is often more when it comes to creating a natural-looking transformation. I explained the art of contouring, how to enhance features delicately, and how to choose colors that complement one's complexion. While appearance was a crucial aspect, I wanted the boys to understand that true femininity extended beyond physicality. I spoke about cultivating empathy and emotional intelligence, encouraging them to develop a deep understanding of their own feelings and the emotions of others. Listening actively and being attentive to the needs and experiences of those around them were key qualities that would enhance their femininity. Lastly, I shared my personal journey, recounting the challenges I faced, the self-doubt I overcame, and the support I received from loved ones along the way. I wanted them to understand that everyone's path is unique, and it's important to stay true to oneself while respecting others' journeys. As I concluded my narrative, I looked into the eyes of those boys. Their expressions held a mix of fascination, respect, and curiosity. I hoped that my words had sparked a new understanding within them, one that went beyond mere entertainment or curiosity. I wanted them to grasp the idea that femininity is a spectrum, and that every individual should be free to explore and express their identity without judgment. In that moment, I realized that sharing my story had been more than just a lesson on how to behave like a lady. It was a lesson in acceptance, empathy, and understanding for everyone, regardless of their gender identity or expression. And as we all stood there, connected by the power of storytelling, I hoped that those boys would carry these lessons forward and become advocates for inclusivity and compassion in a world that sorely needed it. Let's dive deeper into the tutorial, exploring more detailed aspects of behaving like a lady for crossdressers and transgender individuals. Voice and speech, a crucial element in femininity is voice and speech. The tone, pitch, and cadence of your voice can play a significant role in your transformation. Practice speaking in a softer, more melodic tone, avoiding abrupt or harsh speech patterns. Pay attention to your intonation, emphasizing the natural rises and falls in your voice. Record yourself speaking and listen to the recordings to identify areas where you can improve.
Walking. Walking gracefully and with poise is an essential part of portraying femininity. Experiment with taking smaller steps, as it can create an illusion of elegance. Walk with your toes pointed slightly outward, and imagine a straight line running through your body from your head to your feet. Keep your posture upright, and let your hips sway slightly with each step. Practice in front of a mirror or take walks in private to refine your gait. Gestures and mannerisms. Observing and emulating the gestures and mannerisms of women can contribute to a more convincing feminine presentation. Pay attention to how women use their hands, cross their legs, or touch their hair. Avoid abrupt movements and instead strive for gentle, flowing gestures. Practice in front of a mirror to familiarize yourself with these subtle movements until they become second nature. Clothing and style. Choosing the right clothing and developing your personal style can greatly enhance your feminine image. Understand your body shape and choose outfits that flatter your figure. Experiment with different fabrics, cuts, and colors that make you feel confident and comfortable. Consider consulting with fashion stylists or seeking advice from experienced crossdressers or transgender individuals to find inspiration and guidance. Social etiquette. Behaving like a lady goes beyond appearance, it also encompasses social etiquette. Practice good manners, such as saying, please, and, thank you, and using appropriate language. Be mindful of personal space and avoid intrusive behavior. Cultivate active listening skills, engaging in conversations with genuine interest and empathy. Understanding and respecting social boundaries is essential in any setting. Confidence and inner beauty. While external presentation is important, true femininity radiates from within. Build your confidence by embracing and celebrating your authentic self. Engage in activities that make you feel good about yourself, such as practicing self-care, pursuing hobbies, and surrounding yourself with positive influences. Remember that beauty comes in many forms, and your unique qualities contribute to your femininity. Continuous learning and support. Becoming a lady is an ongoing journey of self-discovery and growth. Seek out support from community groups, online forums, or local LGBTQ organizations where you can connect with others who share similar experiences. Engage in dialogue, ask questions, and learn from the experiences of others. Embrace the opportunity to continuously learn and refine your understanding of femininity. As I shared these detailed aspects with the boys, they eagerly absorbed the information, ready to embark on their own paths of self-expression. I encourage them to approach this journey with patience, kindness towards themselves, and respect for others. I reminded them that femininity is a diverse and multifaceted concept, and each individual has the power to shape and define their own unique expression. As the boys departed, their minds filled with newfound knowledge, I found myself inspired by their curiosity and eagerness to learn. I realized that sharing my experiences didn't just end with that tutorial, it was something I wanted to continue doing. So, emboldened by their enthusiasm, I decided to venture out into the city as a woman and embrace the opportunity to connect with others, offering guidance and support along the way. With each step, I felt a surge of confidence, my feminine demeanor shining through as I navigated the bustling streets. The city welcomed me with open arms, a vibrant tapestry of diverse individuals going about their daily lives. It was here, among the hustle and bustle, that I felt most alive and connected to the world around me. As I walked, I couldn't help but notice others who, like me, were on their own journeys of self-expression. Some were hesitant and unsure, while others exuded a radiant self-assuredness. It was in these encounters that I found my purpose, to be a beacon of guidance and understanding for those navigating their own paths. Approaching a timid figure sitting on a park bench, I struck up a conversation. They shared their insecurities, unsure of how to authentically express themselves. Drawing from my own experiences, I listened attentively, offering words of encouragement and practical advice. We discussed fashion, makeup techniques, and the importance of self-acceptance. By the end of our conversation, their eyes sparkled with newfound hope, inspired to explore their identity with a renewed sense of confidence. Moving through the city, I found myself engaging with a diverse array of people. Each encounter was an opportunity to impart wisdom and understanding, to offer a guiding hand to those who sought it. 
whether it was a transgender individual seeking advice on coming out to their family or a crossdresser looking for style suggestions, I shared my knowledge with an open heart and an empathetic ear. In the midst of these exchanges, something beautiful unfolded. A community began to form, a network of individuals who had crossed paths with me and, in turn, connected with one another. It was a testament to the power of shared experiences and the bonds that can be forged through understanding and acceptance. Word spread about my presence in the city, and soon, people sought me out specifically, eager to learn from my experiences. Workshops and support groups sprang up, providing safe spaces for individuals to explore their identities and learn from one another. Together, we celebrated the beauty of diversity, championing self-expression and breaking down societal barriers. With each passing day, I found solace in knowing that I was making a difference, no matter how small. My journey had taken on a greater purpose, one that extended beyond my personal transformation. It was about creating a world where individuals could freely express themselves, irrespective of gender norms or societal expectations. As the sun began to set, casting a warm glow over the city, I reflected on the profound connections I had made. The faces of those I had encountered lingered in my mind, their stories intertwining with mine. I realized that while I had set out to teach others, they had taught me as well, the resilience, strength, and unwavering spirit of those who dared to be their authentic selves. With renewed determination, I continued my path, knowing that there was still much work to be done. The city was vast, filled with individuals yearning for acceptance and understanding. And I, as a source of knowledge and support, would be there, walking alongside them, guiding them toward a future where everyone could express their true selves with confidence and pride. The End